Uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, joining this event and this session. It's a great honor to have GM representative uh, uh, with us and to have GM involved. So the first question I would like to, um, uh, to propose you, John, is to introduce yourself, tell us uh, which is your role at GM, and give us a little bit of background. Okay, well, um, I am the supervisor for reality capture for General Motors in North America. Uh, my role is to document as found in existing conditions in our facilities, both inside and outside um, throughout the country. Thank you very much, uh, that's great. Um, then I would like to, uh, to know a little bit more about uh, the use of drone technology by GM. And uh, we would like to know a little bit more in terms of uh, uh, your vision uh, uh, at urban air mobility level and how uh, at the moment you are uh, deploying drones in your activities. Well, <clears throat> our group's focus is um, from a drone perspective was in uh, really the safety aspects of, of, of working with drones. We weren't really looking for a different way to collect data um, just from a, an efficiency standpoint or a cost standpoint. We really wanted to make, um, make, it make technology available to our maintenance professionals that would keep them out of potentially hazardous conditions, and that's elevated work and also confined space. So probably for the better part of the last 18 months, maybe two years, um, we've been working uh, quite closely with, with Skypersonic in um, realizing that vision and, and um, trying to leverage different types of technology or different types of drone applications and tools that the drones carry to provide that safe workflow for our people. With that, we've realized cost savings. We realized um, efficiency up uh, it, it increases. So it's been really a, a number of wins across the board for us. Thank you very much. So you already um, replied, I would say, to my, my third question, which was really related about the relation, the business relation uh, you have with Skypersonic and uh, uh, the way forward, let's say. So what do you expect in the next 12 months, for example, from this collaboration? Yeah, so... For us, the next 12 months, are um, we believe they're going to be extremely exciting for us. Uh, this has gone from a pilot project for us, uh, utilizing drones inside of our facilities, to really a, a more of a program that's company-wide. And integral to that um, program has, is Skypersonic. Their proximity to our uh, technical center in Warren, Michigan, uh, is, is a huge benefit for us um, because we're able to collaborate with them in person uh, when we have issues or we have um, enhancements that we'd like to, to, to possibly see on the hardware, uh, it's very easy for us to work with, with them. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a really, I think this has been a really great relationship um, from the beginning because they were new into the space when they uh, started working with us and we were new into utilizing the technology that they were developing. So we've, I think we've kind of grown together through this whole process. Thank you very much. Um, not just drone technology, but we have also other specific emerging technologies getting coupled with drones. An example is AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, how do you um, see AI to be combined with the drones technology uh, for the vision of GM? So the... the... <laughs> From our perspective, you know, well, from my, I'm going to just talk personally, from my perspective, the, the inclusion of different types of AI technology into the drone uh, as part of drone capture um, is great for us because what this can help us do is understand environments without actually having to have a person look at things and, and, and um, determine whether or not there's an issue. Um, we've, we've seen examples of AI where, um, the, the AI can actually recognize that a bolt or the nut on a bolt is not fully, fully tightened, whereas we may not be necessarily able to see that with our eyes, so we could potentially miss it. Um, not saying that AI right now is perfect by any means, but I think what it can do is help drive our maintenance professionals to where there are potential issues. It could help them find potential issues. So from, from my perspective, I think the 
um, again, it's the it, it's it's helping our maintenance people do their jobs better. So this becomes more of a, a tool in the toolbox for them. And I think not only in the hardware, but the software as well. Absolutely. Uh, my last question is related to uh, uh, the connection in between the city of Turin and this particular project. Skepersonic, in fact, has been uh, um, uh, the first company to sign in for a very particular program we have called Turin Reshoring, which means international companies <clears throat> with R&D and technology uh, background and DNA coming, the, uh, coming to Turin to uh, carry out new specific and special R&D projects. Um, do you have any thoughts about Turin as a city and as an international city which is positioning itself um, to become a hub for a global innovation? Well, in my, you know, in my, in my discussions with Giuseppe and other, uh, other um, uh, people that work at Sky Personic, I, I'm fully aware of how active uh, Turin is in applying these new tech, exciting technologies to programs that are there. I, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to get very deep involved in what, or deeply involved into what is actually being being done in Turin. But I do know that that uh, there, there's a lot of excitement around what what's happening there. Um, we we are looking for what what we like to do is correspond and and connect with with people that are that are looking at things like we are. You know, really trying to think outside the box and trying to apply different types of technology. Sometimes they don't always work. Um, sometimes, but, but it's never a failure. Just because something doesn't necessarily work doesn't make it a failure for us. Um, so just, just being able to uh, communicate with, with, uh, with you, with it being part of this, um, being part of the program that's going to happen, uh, it, it's all uh, exciting for us because it's keeping us involved as well. Uh, at General Motors, we have a tendency to be, uh, live in a vacuum, you know, live inside of GM. And we don't always get outside to see what other um, cities, other manufacturers, competitors, um, non-competitors are actually doing. So just being involved with this is quite exciting for us. That's, that's really amazing, uh, John, uh, as a contribution to this event. And we really would like to thank you for the support. John, okay. thank you very much. All the best. Thank Take you. Care. All right. You too. We'll see you.